Today we will continue the previous video topic and talk about querying for objects using the query. Repository object allows you to run basic queries. For example, to find contact by ID, to add new contact, to delete the contact, and so on. But you can use repository for creating more complex query. I made some previous work. I created two entities here it uh, and corresponding repositories for it. Um, also I created 10 new entity objects for each entity and made migration. So now I have two tables in the database here it with data. And also I have empty controller here it and back to the query topic we will find all contacts from the email table uh, with the last name stone I'll show how to do it The string that we passed in the create query method look like SQL, but it is not. It is doctrine query language or DQL. The main difference between DQL and SQL is that DQL is a query language for your object model, not for your relational schema. Please read more about DQL in the Doctrine project documentation.
As a result, we got an array of empty objects. We do not see the data because the variables in the entity are declared is private. We can use a debugger to see this data. Well, in order to display them on the HTML page, data serialization is needed, but we will not delve into this topic in this video. Now let's try to interact with the database using Query Builder. We will do the same query. But first, let's understand what is Query Builder. It is object-oriented way to write queries. It provides a set of classes and methods that is able to programmatically build queries. Query Builder is not an abstraction of DQL, but merely a tool to dynamically build it. It's recommended to use plain DQL when you can, because it's simpler and more readable. When you generate entity using maker bundle command, they also will be created as a repository for it. And inside that generated repository, you can find example how to work with Query Builder. I show it. Here are these examples. Let's analyze what happens in this function. First, uh, we create Query Builder, and here we pass the argument which is alias of the entity object. Usually it's just the first letter of the entity name. Then we type some conditions of a query. And here query is generated. And here it executes. So I quickly show you how it works. So if you need, you can create queries directly with SQL.
Unless you use the native query functionality, you'll get back raw data. Keep in mind that mixing SQL and PHP is considered not a good practice. I hope you enjoy this video and see you next time.